What's up everyone? In order to get really good at trading, you have to study charts. It is a requirement. So let's dive right into this action and learn some important price action principles. And we have this clear spike up coming off of the news and then a possibility of a secondary channel. Now you don't know yet if this channel is going to be legitimate or not. We had this move up you have a break of this initial channel and you have a new high. Prices can certainly correct from here. So it may be tempting to buy when we come down to the EMA and you're looking at the secondary channel, but you want to wait. You want to wait to see what prices are going to do, especially pre-market, especially coming off the news and you were rewarded for waiting. But the action was still bullish over here. So you, you could even still expect after this correction is played out that maybe we'd, we would get a bounce and get to a new high. So right about here, you have two measured legs down and that is often when prices decide to bounce. So it may be tempting to draw a wider channel and that could certainly be in play, but with the action to the left, you always gotta look left. You want to hold off and see if that we're going to get a bounce. In here, a bit of the bounce is starting. So you can even draw an uptrend like that. This isn't good enough to take a long up. We, we really wanna see some progress up into here to be sure that a new high is going to be reached. And yet we just keep falling off. So at this point, it does look like this wider trend was likely legitimate. Uh, but now it is played out. There's the trend, you have a break, now a move to a new low. This becomes quite a strong move as you can just see it continually going down. So we can consider looking for a wider channel. However, you always want to be cautious when coming up to really key levels on the chart. This is yesterday's closing price and this is the overnight low there. So both of these levels can generate a strong bounce. We don't want to take shorts directly into them. Could be really tempting to take a short off the top of this wide channel, but because we're coming off of yesterday's close and this overnight low area, this is where you could get a reversal. So maybe tempting to take this short off this channel, but the best bet is to wait and you can see very clearly this is strong momentum in the other direction. So we must disregard that wider trend and follow what prices are doing. We don't want to trade the market that we want. We want to trade what we're seeing. But at this point, this action is very strong coming off a key level pullback. So during my live stream, I had my order ready right on that EMA. And then unfortunately, prices just go up without me. Would expect the market to correct here, and yet it is going up yet again. And right about here, you would likely draw this secondary channel. Very quickly, it gets an overshoot. Initially, right at the overnight high, you might expect this to reverse, combining the overshoot, which usually leads to a reversal, plus the key level of the overnight high, yet prices continue higher. So that is when we are forced to look at a wider channel as an option. So now everything is aligning to take along. We are above the overnight high. We have a nice looking uptrend. I have my order ready right on the EMA. We just need prices to pull back to the EMA. And yet again, they do not offer a pullback. This is really strong price action. You don't often see it continue to take off like this. Usually there is a chance for us to enter. But prices continue higher. Now we have a pullback to the EMA. So do we buy here? We really can't because this, if you'll notice, is a break of the channel. And when there is a break of a channel and a new high reached, the market typically like to go and correct. So we have to hold off on longs here until we see a correction play out. Make sure to draw our short-term correction channels. Now we have a break and a new low. We have a nice, strong, bullish candle. This is incredibly bullish price action. This is where I would like to take a long. So enter just at the close of that candle, targeting a new high and setting a one-to-one -one risk so that there's plenty of room for the trade to work out. 
went directly up to the target. So that was a nice win for the day. And again, we have to hold off on longs until we see what the correction may look like. You will notice some support. Several times prices bounced at this level, so we will have the range up and see if prices can continue to hold that. But now we're getting a little bit of a bearish bias coming into the market. We made a high here, a high here. Now you'll notice lower high, lower high, as well as the lows, lower low, lower low, lower low. So we wanna hold off on buying here as bullish as the price action was. This is when you can start to get a larger correction to the downside. And that is exactly what happens. So we'll need to draw our bearish trend and we can see immediately that we are getting an overshoot of that channel. So we have to be cautious about taking any shorts. We are getting a pullback and typically this is the setup I like. Nice trend, pull back to the EMA, go short. But with this overshoot, this can generate strong movement. The market could reverse. It was all bullish anyway, so we might be headed for a new high. And the market definitely attempts to make a new low. We're very close right here. But then quickly we're getting a strong reversal. This is a perfect setup. Zooming out. Look how bullish this price action has been since the market open. And now we are getting another trend up. I want to buy. So I am getting my order ready at the EMA. Just want to see a pullback. And here we go. Orders at the EMA. We want to buy. And that is the possible entry. I actually missed it by one tick. My order was right here, right below it. And if you got that fill, you had a nice winner right here as it went to target. And then yet again, we have to be patient as we wait for the market to correct, but it continues to go higher. So we draw another bullish channel and make sure we're taking note of where the high of day is. You don't want to take a trade right into that, another level that can react very strongly. And so even though we're getting a pullback here, it is not one you want to buy. Right at the new high of day, this was already a wider channel. This is the primary one. So the market could correct here, hold off on buying. And if you bought the EMA, I think that would have been a loser. Yeah, that would have lost, unless you're waiting. Um, you can wait for this bullish bar and go long above that and even shorten up your risk to where you are just risking below that swing. I didn't want to do it. This wasn't like a runaway trend or anything and this could have easily been the start of a reversal. But not a bad setup to go long right there. And now that we are in new high, we have to be patient. And at this point, the market's gonna be closed in about 15 minutes, so we don't really have time to take another trade. A couple of great opportunities, also some heartbreakers. Wanting to buy the EMA here, didn't get filled. I didn't get filled on this one either, uh, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So keep studying, keep improving your trading, and I will see you on the next one.